Hey y'all, I'm here with my Coco Daisy unboxing. I'm in my bed as you can tell. It's that kind of day. It's nice and cloudy and rainy and I finally had a chance to go through my box. So I figured I would go through it with my cell phone on so you guys could see it. Um, if you're not familiar, Coco Daisy is a subscription website that has planner kits, scrapbooking, and pocket life or like day in the life type kits. I pretty much subscribe to everything, so I'm going to give you a go. Now, when I picked it up from the post office, I did open up some of the packaging just to peek at what I got, and um, but I really didn't get to look at it. So here is the extra paper that I purchased. I believe it was like $6, $7, I think. So here's the front of this one, and then that's the back. I got some blue stripes, and that's the back. This is, it looks like, I don't know what that is, like maybe a flower or a leaf. Navy blue and yellow gold, like mustard yellow. And then that's the back. Then I got this sheet of like cut apart tags, um, borders, and that side. Sorry, I have my fans going, which I'm sure you can hear, and so I had to sneeze because of the dust, but I, it's not hot enough for me to turn my air on right now. Crazy to say, since I live in Vegas, and it's usually 120, but I think it's about 90-something degrees right now, so fans can do. I have some retro cameras, and on the back, it's like a chevron-type pattern, almost, kind of. So that's the extra paper I ordered. They're really cute. They come in these bags. This month, the uh, extra paper was separated. Not quite sure why. Oh, this is going to be hard one-handed. One second. So the extra paper is usually packed with the extra cardstock. Card stock. I'm not sure why they wasted a bag and didn't put it together. But here is the extra cardstock I got for $8 and I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick up the vibrancy of the blue and green and red but they really coordinate well let me pull one of the sheets of paper so you can see it's really a nice cordon coordination with the colors I mean I can pull out pretty much any one and one of the cardstocks will match so that's eight sheets and that was extra I do primarily just use my Coco Daisy for each month's worth of photos, and I really don't buy extra, I just pull for my stack. Now, as you can see, I already tore into this baby, couldn't help myself. I used to try to like be all gentle and save the paper bags, but yeah. So I got a roll of Coco Daisy washi, some gingham ribbon, and it looks like uh, roses and such like little acrylic pieces I'm not gonna open that so Coco Daisy exclusive stamps chill out the good stuff happiness is this is super cute then we got some die cuts from America craft I think oh fancy pants so that's what that's what it looks like. Those are the die cuts. Some Coco Daisy die cuts that match really well. I mean, take a look. That's nice. Wait, no, that's not. I kid, it's PLS Paper Shop. So, so are these? No, these are Coco Daisy. So there's the Coco Daisy that matches really well chipboard stickers then I got some fancy pants chipboard alpha it's pretty thick too and then here's the paper that came in the scrapbook kit so vellum I don't know if you can see the gold speckles or not they're kind of like stars I'm going to move this over here ice creams this is coco daisy exclusive paper and on the back some white and black tags or white tags on a black background some gingham 
that's what it's called, right? And a sunflower. So that's gorgeous. That's a Coco Daisy exclusive. Another Coco Daisy exclusive is this yellow sunflower paper and red stripes. This Coco Daisy exclusive cloud background and then navy blue with light blue flowers. That's gorgeous. Then we have some Fancy Pants Family & Co. houses and circles, red circles from the Family & Co. Some um, writing. Home is where the heart is. With you on the street where you live. That's cute. With some uh, teal like aqua blue with yellow dots. This is Simple Stories pinwheels and then like a mustard yellow X's paper and then here's the cardstock that came in the kit one white you usually get a white and then two colors so that's why I always get the extra cardstock so I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side and I'll bring out the next thing so the next thing is the day in the life and it always comes in this little pouch like I said I subscribe to everything that you can subscribe to so the, everything that you see there was a scrapbooking kit and the a scrapbooking add-on. This is the day in the life. There's no add-ons for this. So this is kind of like my scrapbooking add-on. So I got this, which looks like some washi from Pretty Little Studio, PLL paper, prettylittlestudio.com. I don't know all of the company names. And then you got some words. You seen me there in the background, probably my messy hair and pajama shirt. Some Coco Daisy exclusive die cuts to match, and that goes super well with the scrapbooking kit. That's probably probably one of the three reasons why I get this. The second is for the stamps. So there's the exclusive stamps, barbecuing. How cute! And then you always get a. Uh, sheet of mini alphas super cool they do an, an amazing job uh, color matching you get Coco Daisy stickers these are gorgeous I love that you get a little bit of what's new and then you get some exclusives that match like coordinate really well so there's some of that exclusive paper cut down into six by six, double sided. And let me tell you, the thickness of this paper, you can't beat. It is super duper thick paper. And then the cards, um, I'm probably not going to go through them all individually, but I wanted to show you. So I'll do this side. I guess I will, because who am I kidding? I want to see them. Black and white sunflower, super duper cute. Haha, ha, my pin mark. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a dark yellow with um, brown middle. Let life surprise you. Oh, it's in color and then black and white. That's pretty, little lanterns hanging. And then smoking hot. That would be my hubby. Happiness is, oh, that's just like the stamp. I like that. And then it's in white. Those are some really good uh, four by six cards. I can send those as postcards if I wanted to. And then, uh, let's see. Just I'm not even pretend that I'm just going to try to finger through them. I'm going to go really quick. So let me go to my dominant hand, my right hand. So... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip them here. So if you want to see what both sides look like, I'm going to show here and then I'm going to flip them over. So cute. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. It says sunshine is my favorite. Winter is my favorite. Kisses by the sun. I like the color variation. I think this is by far my favorite set of cards outside of the princess 
um, not the princess, the princess bride theme. I loved those cards. Now, I don't use any of my Day in the Life cards. I'm saving them for a project in 2018. So they will always be used the next year over. And this is my first year subscribing to Coco Daisy. So I know I'm crazy. It's going to be hard not to use them, but I am saving them for a future project. So that's the cards. And that's all that I got in my Day in the Life. Okay, so all that's left is my planner stuff. And before I get to the planner subscription and planner add-on, I thought I would show you the extras that I order each month. And one other thing that I subscribe to that is for the planner or crafting. So inside this bag, I get an extra roll of washi. So that's gorgeous. And then I got the flares that they offered this month. This is not a normal thing. This is a hit or miss. Um, I think they had one other set of flares that I had missed two or three months ago, so I made sure to get these, and they match. So pretty. And then I subscribed to their mini uh, Coco Daisy Dory um, that I have not used this year, and I have a plan for them next year as well, because next year I'll be getting the big one, and so I have an idea in my mind. They're undated, so I don't need to use them right away. So that is some of the extras that I bought and the Dory subscription. Now, I will say, going all the way back to the scrapbooking, you can subscribe to everything except for the extra paper that you have to jump on and purchase separately. I wish they would make a subscription for it. It would make my life easier, but it is what it is. So the other the other thing that I subscribe to is the dashboards. I use these as my actual dividers for each month in my planner. And then these are the exact same thing, but just bigger, A5. And I use these for crafting purposes or framing because they are just gorgeous artwork. So I'm going to put these to the side because they are the same print. And I'm going to show you what they look like in the bigger size. Okay. It says, I think it's beautiful the way you sparkle when you talk about the things you love. I already have a plan for this to go into a frame for a birthday gift. And I have a plan for this as well for a gift. It says, Sonnet 18. Shall I capture thee to a... Sh sh shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more... Temper. I'm going to hold it here because I, I can't read it. I don't have my glasses. So I'm going to hold it here for a second. Take a screenshot if you want. Read it. All right, moving on. Then it says, August. What would life be if we had no courage to attempt anything? Be gentle with yourself. You're doing the best you can. Amen to that. Do more of what makes you happy. And this is, it, the artwork is just, it's gorgeous. So mm -hmm. that's that. And then finally, the planner subscription. So I'm going to do the actual subscription and then I'll do the planner add-on. So this comes in a bag as well. So it says enjoy every day. And this month we got a blue bow. That's really pretty. Some die cuts and um, a planner charm. I'm not taking those things out. Another roll of washi. I got an extra one of this because I go through the washi. The, oh, I got bent, how sad. Oh well, that's okay. Always face the sun notepad. As you can tell, this, the theme is sunflowers. Another little post-it note notepad. These turn into paper clips like puffy paper clips so that's really pretty and then anything that I'm recording today where I have to say and then I am annoyed with the word then I don't know why all right so here is the insert for a personal so that's the weekly Like menu planning and then here is a look at the weekly like 
planning weekly. And then they have the calendar, which I just skipped. Yeah, this is a hot mess unboxing share with you. And that's exactly how I'm going to title it. And then there's the daily. Really wanted to share it. I just really didn't feel like getting out of bed, which was a mistake to film something like this. I now know better. Stop laughing at me, friends. I can hear some of my friends laughing at me. So here is the um, tap stickers. It says it right there. Oh, I need to go back to sleep. My lovely friend woke me up at 6 this morning. Here are the planner stickers. Holding it there long enough so people can read and see what's really on it. I hate when somebody says, here's the stickers, and then moves them away. And then here is the other planner stickers. So pretty. I'm hoping to keep this under 20 minutes. Keep your fingers crossed. And then we got these that come with it. It's like dashboards for A5 or craft paper. They're double-sided. So as you can see, you get two of those. It's gorgeous. You get two of these, and they are the same. And you get two of these. This is my favorite. So pretty. So if you want to make dashboards, in case you don't want to subscribe to the uh, actual dashboard. And then you got this overlay that I'm going to leave in there. So that's really pretty. It's foiled. It's pretty. So that is the planner subscription in a whole, and here are the add-ons. And like I'm just making a mess of everything, just so you know. I store everything in iris containers, so when I'm done here, I'm just going to be plopping it in there anyways. So let me get this opened. First thing are the die cuts. Not opening these. Tons of cute die cuts in there. I'm sure of it. They have it every month. Sunflower paper clip, super adorable. And then a metal sunflower paper clip, again, super adorable. Planner pin, never stop learning. I don't know if that's gonna focus for you or not. Oh, but it made it brighter. Smartphone dumb person. I don't know if that's gonna focus for you or not. Okay, trust me, it says never Stop learning, I promise. Then you have this washi, so three washies total plus my extra, three different kind, super cool. This really cute pocket card, one-sided. This really cute pocket card, the sun always shines above the clouds. Sticker sheet with the dates. Mini tabs. This is super pretty. Another sticker sheet. So that's three sh sticker sheets. And then this larger card that's bent also. The mail really screwed up this box this month. So that sucks. I've never actually had anything bent before. I saw that my life was a vast, glowing, empty page, and I could do anything I wanted. Kind of cool. That's one-sided. So that's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I guess I should show you how I store this stuff so you don't think I just keep like, everything super-duper messy. <laughs> because, well, I have a cluttered home. I try to keep my stuff fairly organized. So that I can actually use it. So I use this 12 by 12 iris container. I put the cardstock in first. See, that got bent too. That's irritating. So the cardstock goes in first. Then I put the subscription paper in. Then the extra paper. I put the thickers all the embellishments the stamps and the washi 
and then the day in the life just gets put in just like that and then I always grab these from the planner kit all I use out of here is the tab so when I stop filming I'll pull the tabs out of it and put it with the planner stuff but the rest goes to my scrapbooking uh, these come in here and then these come in here and then this month this will come in here we don't always get an overlay so that's how I put everything away it closes up I have a shelf in my craft room that holds iris containers for each month currently I'm working on February and April so March June July and now the August kit wait no this is July's so March June and July scrapbooking kit are sitting on my shelf ready for photos to be printed and added to the box and I can go ahead and put away my planner stuff I just go ahead and store it in this bag and then I have drawers in, right next to these where I just put them into their coordinating month and it's two months per drawer thanks for watching my hot mess unboxing enjoy your day I hope it's cool where you're at and not flooding bye